And good morning, folks. This is your old pal, Uncle Al. This is a movie review. I'm going to keep it short. It's a classic. It's from uh, Tuesday Night at the Movies or Movie of the Week. Where Have All the People Gone? 1974. Okay, please check it out. Usually it's on YouTube or it's on one of the streaming services. I watch this over and over to see the mistakes they make. First thing, they suffer from normalcy bias or make weird assumptions. Second thing, they make a lot of prepper mistakes. Okay? No fixed blades. They lose, they have always backpacks and they keep losing it. They lost Let's see, get home bags, backpacks. I think about eight times in this movie, they keep losing their backpacks and supplies. Only thing kept them alive is stuff in their pockets. Danger Dale knows what I'm talking about. A lot of people knows what I'm talking about. Yeah. Where did I put those guys? Okay. Danger Dale. Who's your prepping nurse? Prepping by Faith. Prepping with Sarge. Sassy Gal Prepping. Alpine Preparedness. Nene's Northern Prepper. Garden State Gardener. Lori's Thrifty Kitchen. Okay, again... For people who are slow. Where Have All the People Gone? 1974. is a movie of the week. Very good. <clears throat> it hit upon solar flares, EMP, uh, what you call ionizing radiation, viruses, DNA structure, light. Keep telling this to people, but they look like their mouths open. I don't care, Uncle. I'm worried about my next meal. Okay? You have to wake up, folks. It's going to get serious. Cheap food is over. I have to repeat myself. And second thing is, all this, all right, what you enjoy now is over. All right? I told you this a year, four years ago, six years ago. All right? Nobody ever listens. Again, where have all the people gone? 1974. So anyway, there's a good scene where a messed out Lassie tried to kill Peter Graves. He didn't have a knife. He had a monkey wrench in the his daughter Kathleen Quillen. Like, but daddy, don't hit the little puppy. Puppy's nuts. On meth, starving. Still have no idea. Normalcy, biasy. You know, everything is normal. They got their car stolen. Not once, not twice, about three or four times. It's like, geez. I mean, and then when they go to Clancy the Outfitter house, they didn't get the fishing poles. They didn't get the twenty-two rifle. You know, everybody's there. It's been fried or dead. And only things, I tell a lot of people, carry a bar of food. Put it in your pocket, leave it there. And they still don't, is it a cereal bar, Uncle Al? No, you're going to be dead. About 95% of you is going to be dead. It's like the other movie I watched. It's a Korean-based one called Soul Survivor. From Soul is with an E-O-U, Soul, that kind of survivor. And it's an old guy, and he's kind of like Uncle Al. And uh, by the end of the movie, this one guy says, I can get better equipment, blah, 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 and better gadgets. And he's, throughout the whole three episodes, he's been killing zombie, it was a zombie movie, with a toilet lid. Okay? And uh, the uncle, old guy, kind of looks at him. Shoots him in the nuts and then in the head. And he said, you're a dumbass. All right. 
The next scene is the girl who escapes with him is like a 17 year old student. And it's now five years later. She's like 20 or something. And she has two kids. The old guy's still in his garden working away quietly and and stuff. And then you see a zombie going, Err, and he's getting closer and closer. Err, and then he hits the electrified fence. And the old guy turns around and shoots him in the head with his 44. Okay? Like I said, the old guy wasn't law-abiding. And how he survived, I think it was a 38 or a 44, but I'm not too sure. But uh, dead zombie and the kid and the wife, they're happy. He's still working in his garden. And they have plenty of food. They have pigs and it zooms out. All right? People will survive. You will die. All right? But try not to make a lot of mistakes. All right? Right now, we're heading that path, and a lot of people, but I don't really care, Uncle Al. That's too big thinking for us. You should be worried. Worried a lot. Okay? My next video is the shopping hall for Sassy Gal Prepping. That will be in about another hour. I am very busy, okay? I'm trying to get stuff all set up and ready to go. July 11th has passed. Uh, Brandon is being Brandon. And right now, the world's teetering. It's like one second before midnight, and we might have World War III in four different continents. All right, folks, I'll catch you later. Long live the Republic. Grow a garden and learn how to process and store your food. All right? Be a nice person. All right? Have a meal with a neighbor or friend. And a lot of you fringers, because Uncle Alan's one of the better fringers. I'm not low level. I'm high level. We know what we're doing. We've been doing this for 40 years. A lot of you are, I'm a fringer. No, you're not. You're hand to mouth. You're not even a fringer. Do you have a passport? Do you have a safe house? Do you have $500 in cash? Do you have means of transportation? Okay? But if you carry everything on your back and wander here or there or with no supplies or anything or no idea what's going on, you're going to be in big trouble in the next 10 months. All right, folks. I'll catch you later. Do something good. All this right here is an illusion. All right, get away from social media and YouTube and do something constructive. Learn a skill, learn a language, learn a talent. All right, a lot of people, like the factory worker or the worker, like, I learned to code. I have a four-year college degree. Do you have a skill? Do you have a trade? Do you understand what's going on? If you say no to those... 95% of you will die. Okay? Or end up something like, what, Who the hell you shot, Uncle Al? Another zombie. And I'll catch you later, folks. You have a nice day. It's going to be a warm weekend. Cook.